Hi everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Wednesday, September 27th, 2017. Uh, extremely hot again today. We hit 91 here again today. They're calling for some showers this afternoon. But uh, so basically, I wanted to talk about and show you what I what I'm doing here normally um, as I'm adding things and what I'm doing with it. So basically, what we're going to do first. I'll do this really easy. Um, Basically, I just bought this 10 pounds of elbow macaroni. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I, the, the elbow macaroni, the pasta, is going to just go into the plastic, okay? And then, what I'm going to do with also, like on the back side here, like this one here, I'll show you here. It says, how to cook okay so basically what I'm going to do with that I'm going to cut one of these out and then I'm basically just going to take that and I'm going to tape it I've got my tape here hold on I'll just show you what to do and do it first piece was not good. So I'm pull that. That's not wanting to stick on there for whatever reason. So I'm going to use different tape. But basically what I'm going to do is uh, take that and tape it right onto there. So, but so what, I'm, what I'll end up doing here is I have... Uh, So once I get it all, whatever I end up putting into this one, and it's looking like it's going to be at least four pounds. Yeah, so there's four pounds in there. So what I'm going to end up doing is on the lid, itself all right four pounds elbow macaroni and then the date basically seal that up and just set it aside all right so I'm obviously going to fill up one of them as well uh, I have 10 pounds all together so then what I'm going to end up doing is I have I'll do I'll use the pancake mix I got uh, it's five pounds here of pancake mix so what I'm going to do with that I'm going to take one of these glass jars and again, the directions on the back, all right, I'm going to cut the directions off and go ahead and put that right into, um, on, on the side of that. But then this way, instead of just having this sitting in a box, like it is right now, I don't want it to come out too fast and go all over the table. So what I'm going to end up doing with this, just making a mess here, by the way. Okay. So now with that, I'll again, I'll put on the top of here, on the lid itself, okay. 
I'll put five pounds, pancake mix, and then the date. So what I'll end up doing with these, now obviously we're getting towards winter now, okay? And a big part of the thing you got to want to make sure is you're going to kill any kind of bugs that could possibly be in here because you don't want to end up getting weevils or anything like that. So what I'll end up doing with all of these things, I will take them outside. Uh, I have a box outside. Now actually I'll take you out there and I'll show you that. But I'll put these in the box for like a week to 10 days so they get exposed to really cold temperatures once, like I said, once we get into winter here. And in that way it's going to kill anything that's inside. And then I'll bring them back inside and, and put them on a shelf. So, but, uh, you know, then so there's five pounds of uh, pancake mix. I already have another one of those over there already. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another jar. Now um, I have the mashed potatoes and I also have oatmeal. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and do the mashed potatoes now. But so once we get into the cold weather, these will all be outside, and I, like I said, I show, I'll show you where I'm going to put them, so that that way no animals are going to get into it and uh, anything like that either. And again, what I'll end up doing with this here, on the back side with the directions, I'm going to end up cutting the directions out. Uh, we have, this is one pound, okay? It's got to be more than one pound. This is one pound, ten ounces. Well, it must be the flakes are, are bigger because that's taking up a lot more room than the pancake mix did. So I'm going to use that one. And like I said, I'm going to take you outside in a second and I'll show you where I'm going to put these. And like I said, I'll end up leaving them in that spot for a week or two weeks. So first I'm going to add more into this one here. And actually I don't think I'm going to use this big one. I'll use that big one on the other mashed potatoes. Use one of these smaller jars. But it's better, anything you have in a box like that, if you can, oh crap, I didn't think it was going to take it. Uh, actually, it worked out pretty good, to be honest with you. Alright, so I have... Okay. So there, between the two of those, that's almost three pounds. That's not the right way. That's almost three pounds worth of, um, you know, potatoes right there. Okay. So, got the pancake mix, got the potatoes. I'm gonna pack up the oatmeal as well, and then I have dry beans as well. And like I said, with the dry beans, I'm just gonna show you real quick with that. I have a lot of these packed up in long-term storage, okay? So I wanted to have some just in the house on hand for when we want them. And again, I'm going to put the date on there, when we bought them, how many pounds are in here. Uh, each of these are one pound bags. But it's nice to have everything. I, I like being organized as much as I can be. So, with having things organized and knowing exactly what I got and, you know, and ready to go. Now, a lot of these stuff, I, like, I, I generally make a big list of what I got packed away. So, what I have packed away in the five-gallon buckets, I do that totally separately. That's on that list. Now, like these here, because these are going to be basically on the shelf and we'll have them for when we want to use them. I won't mark that down on my inventory. The inventory is basically whatever's in the five gallon buckets. Whatever I have otherwise, like, you know, just in the house with uh, 
the pasta and stuff like that. I don't know if I can get another one in here now. I'm going to try though. If I can, that's almost six pounds, right? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's see what we can do here. I thought I could get it in there, and I am right. Okay. You never know till you try. Okay, so there. Okay, so there's six pounds of split green peas right there. And again, with these as well, I'll do the same thing. I'll take them out and I will set them in the container outside. I'm going to take you out there now and I'm going to show you that. But basically that's what I'm doing. I'm packing up these things as we get them. Uh, and so I have, you know, as you see over here, I have things packed up. We got noodles and, um, you know, ziti, elbow macaroni. Uh, I think that one is pancake mix over there. Down on the bottom, uh, all underneath here, I got like 25 pounds of flour. So we just, you know, and then I do have some rice over there as well. But, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you out here. So I have this box that was going to be used as a... The generator when I had a smaller generator inside here and have it vented and all that type of stuff, but that never ended up happening. So, basically, what I have here is I just got this empty box and it's got the little opening over there. But, uh, so it's just got an extension cord in there now, obviously. So, what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to put all that stuff in here in the bottom and then just let that sit outside. It's going to be protected. And, uh, I'll let it sit in there for a week or two. Probably like 10 days is what I'll end up doing. And that'll go in there, and then that'll be the, you know, the end of that. And then that, that way it'll be in good shape. Now I'm going to show you. You can see we got the dark clouds coming in over here. We just had this one pass over. But uh, it was pretty clear for most of the day. Like I said, it hit 91 today, so it was pretty freaking warm. But anyway, um, so I just want to show you, that's how I'm packing stuff up. That's what I'm doing to take care of, make sure, because I had a lot of people asking me co uh, comments about what are you doing uh, to prevent weevils and stuff like that and having your food um, be ruined. Now, in this building, I have food stored in that building. I have also, uh, you know, buckets, and then I have buckets also stored in... Um, the uh, utility building out here as well. So, you know, those have been exposed the last two winters, and a lot of the stuff that I've packed up this year will get exposed this winter, you know, to the colder temperatures to bring that down. So that's gonna kill any kind of uh, weevils or bugs or eggs of whatever larva or whatever is in, you know, cause they, they allow a certain amount of stuff to get into your food. So that's gonna take care of those. So I'm not worried about the long-term food storage because it's getting that cold temperature to uh, freeze all those things and it's gonna be okay. And, it, and, and the cold's not really gonna affect the shelf life you know, in a negative way. The heat's what's gonna affect your shelf life in a negative way. So in the summertime, as you can see, we got all these trees and they really shade this building really, really well. Even in the hottest days, like even today, like it'd be in 90, it's very cool and comfortable inside the building. And the same thing, with the other outbuilding, it's nestled in over here. And I'm just gonna show you real quick. I mean, that's nestled in. The windows are on, you know, this side over here. So even as the sun's coming around, it's not getting inside and heating up that building because there's so many trees blocking everything. And it stays very, very cool in there as well. So that's, you know, that's not been an issue at all. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys and show you what I'm doing, how I'm packing some of my stuff up. I do do a lot of, like I said, long-term uh, stuff where I vacuum seal stuff and put it in five gallon buckets. But this is just all kinds of stuff that I have on hand in the house in case we decide we want to have pancakes, whatever. I'm not going to be breaking into my long-term food storage to get things. I'm going to have it right on hand here in the house and uh, you know then we have it that way 
So it's a combination of everything, to be honest with you. A certain amount of food definitely goes towards long-term food storage, and that's okay. But a lot of it, like I said, I want to keep stuff on hand so that we can utilize it as we go. Um, obviously, all of our canned stuff is inside the house because in the wintertime, if those freeze, they'll burst, and then you're done. So all, all the canned stuff is in the house. So I got a ton of canned stuff in there. And uh, But anyway, so... That's what the focus was today. I wanted to just share that with you guys, what I was doing. Um, I had some running around I had to do today. I actually had a five gallon gas can that was empty and I actually can get five and a half gallons in it. So I went down and I filled that up today too. Like I said, I hate empty containers. So as soon as they get empty and it got emptied uh, yesterday, I said, I got to get that down there and get that refilled. So that's what I did today. So it's just a little anal retentive thing. If you have empty containers, it just it's it's needs to be squared away but so that's what's going on nothing super exciting but uh another good day at the homestead uh tomorrow's going to be cooler which will be nice i think the high is only going to be 67 tomorrow so i'm kind of looking forward to that uh i'm ready to you know bang out some more stuff outside with it not not being a bazillion degrees outside so anyway so that's what's happening guys i will talk to you tomorrow i hope everybody's having a great day and uh you know, keep prepping, guys. Keep doing what you got to do. Remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you is you. So, you know, don't listen to negative people. Um, you know, oh, I, I just want to put this real out there. I really don't talk about any kind of the negativity that happens with some of the comments. But if somebody makes a negative comment, please do not reply to them because that's what they want. They want it, they want it to, you, know, feed you to feed into their nonsense. If somebody makes a negative comment, trust me, I'm deleting it right away. It's out of there. They're blocked. Uh, I'm not playing with these people. So, um, and like I said, I'm not going to get onto a whole thing about those type of people, but it's, they're a waste of energy. So they're not even worth the waste of a response. So anyway, so please don't feed into anything with a negative comment. I will delete it as I see it, so don't worry about that. So anyway, guys, listen, have a great day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse went out for now.